Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to our beautiful kingdom of Norland. At least I wanted it to be beautiful. But the Vagabonds keep screwing it up. We got 11 of them. And it's uh, approaching nighttime now, so we'll have to see what kind of mischief they might get in this time around. Uh, we got a night patrol over here near the Lords. I think it might be worth putting in a night patrol also over in this area to protect this kind of area near the hall and stuff. So I'm going to put some night patrol over there too. I don't know whether or not they'll actually patrol that area, but since I have a bigger army now, or at least I have more people that are acting as, you know, protectors and troops and stuff around. Well, I was kind of hoping maybe we would be able to stop this type of violence, but it is what it is. So Tanaya and Varns over here. At least my Varn's brethren are, are winning the fight, at least. But in general, you can pr pretty much expect everyone who's wandering around, like this guy here, is going to break into a house. Yeah, see, you can imagine they are all in here to steal things. They are all in here to cause chaos and to commit crimes. But uh, my people here, no matter how banged up their face are going to at least protect King Charles. At least that's what they're going to try to do. Uh, breaking into the Lord's house and stuff over there. Now, uh, when we get to the morning, we'll have the scaffold up. It'll be the first day we actually have the scaffold. Uh, I know, already. That's, that's what we're dealing with. Uh, now, those who are working at the scaffold, they don't have instructions right now, so they're not really doing anything right now. But... Uh, yeah, go man, go man, get it. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this, this is the problem. Assassination attempts always on Charles. Assassination attempts. Every lord is going after this guy. I gotta feel like he has no chance. But his attacks are so focused on Charles, he may achieve his objective after all, because he does not defend himself at all. He just gave himself up. Look at this. His hands are up in the air. And... His hands are up in the air because he is a coward. <laughs> I'm not kidding. He is a coward. He's so much a coward that everyone else in the entire world of Norland knows he's a coward. Because if you remember, at the end of the last video, uh, we were up here fighting wolves. And you might remember that Charles and his army were up here trying to take out the wolves after they attacked his son and all that stuff. Well, you, you might remember he disengaged. Charles kind of d disengaged. He got out of his armor and he, he went away while the rest of his army kept fighting. That action of him running away from the fight, that has labeled him a coward everywhere. So he actually has that as a personality trait now. And he can't get rid of this. Everyone knows he's a coward. Uh, he's also anxious. So that's great. Always wakes up during a home invasion. I guess that's a good thing. Uh, but if you go to the world map, everyone's opinion of us is now down because our king is a coward. And that is why we have this uh, this list of problems. Enemies plotting now, dangerous neighbors now. We got a lot of problems out there. All right. If I take a look at these guys, negative 20 opinion of me because I'm a coward. If I didn't have that trait, these guys, even though they're Caden, or well, there's these are Maka actually. Uh, they would think positively of me, right? That would actually be a thing. Uh, Great Mist, same thing. They only think of me plus two because there's a negative 20 because I'm a coward. Treewood, same thing, coward. So if a lord runs away from a battle like that, even against wolves, all right, if he runs away from the battle, he's going to develop that personality trait that's going to make him a coward. And, uh, well... It's not looking great for King Charles ruling very long <laughs> as a coward. Everyone kind of plots against him and stuff. So uh, we might have to uh, we have to make preparations for like how we're going to transition rule. I might actually give I might actually make Glance the king. He might actually take the throne now because of that. Uh, I can't have a king at the throne that's a coward. I don't. I just don't think that's something we can do. Um, Glance has 20 rings. Uh, Charles also has 20 rings. There's no difference in rings there. And uh, one thing I could do is uh, I can go to I can go to Glance, actually. Go to Glance, Actions, King, and pass the crown. The king will give the crown to his character, to this character. Glance becomes king, 
relations with your king from the bishop, the matriarch, and the neighbors all start fresh. Old King Charles will be depressed and hate glance. <laughs> that, that sucks. I don't really want that to happen. Um, you can do, you know, revoke titles and things like that. We can reward him with more rings, all sorts of things. So there's, there's consequences to giving up the crown. And I don't want to do that because it will drive a huge wedge between the, the family. Uh, but at the moment, it's going to be pretty hard, I think, anyway. Did you just... Oh, yeah, you burned the body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you killed one of the one of the vagrants. Or va vagabonds. There you go. Killed one of the vagabonds. That's good. We're down to nine now. Jeez. Why are they yelling? Is he burning alive? <laughs> what, why is he burning? What's going on here? These guys are sleeping in the in there. Because there actually is a couple homeless, right? No. No, no. We're down to zero. Okay, good. I, I do want to make some more homes, though. Because I think I am right at the tippy top of where I can where I can, where I can afford for people's homes. Um, so this holds 10, 20, 30, and then 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. That's 40, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 50, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 60, 2, 4, 6. So I have room for 66 people. I shouldn't have any homeless. Um, that said, though, I, I do want to get some homes stuff set up over here if I can as well. And if I can get just a few people working in the scaffold and get them instructions today, that would be very, very good. So I think what I'm going to do here for this, like Charles has also some sins. And because he has sinned, I don't know what that, what that means. I don't know what he has done. Uh, so he's felt so ashamed. He can confess to the bishop to have his sins forgiven through character action menu. I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, because if I do the action menu, go to bishop, confess cost me six rings begging for forgiveness will cost me 15 rings but at least the bishop's attitude towards me will improve um i mean i can confess for six rings but i could i'm, I'm actually thinking we might want to give up on the idea of charles staying king for long <laughs> we can keep it in the family right we just make glance the king and then we keep it in the family uh as long as he's not a coward now, the thing about glance though is he doesn't have the best stats for uh command so we'll definitely need a Lord out there that uh, has better command stats. In the meantime, though, maybe I can push through the coward label. It's another way to do it by just spending time with these guys. I don't want Treewood to have a really bad opinion of me. All right. I don't I don't want that to be a thing. So uh, maybe what I could do is go to, let's say, uh, uh, Hmm. Now I gotta pick one of these guys, right? Social. Let's spend some time with the old man here, and I could just have Charles take off and spend some time with him. But as a result, the result of this is is gonna be net negative. It looks like. That's what it looks like anyway. Net negative. So maybe that's not what I want to do. If I go wolf hunting, I feel like I'm a coward. So that's not gonna work very well, is it? because I'm a coward <laughs> I don't I wouldn't think it would work but hey maybe maybe I can get rid of the coward status doing that I have no idea uh, the king has become the enemy of the bishop that's a problem the relationship between Mertumra and Charles has become hostile if the relationship continues to deteriorate it may lead to a religious uprising <sighs> the goal of targeting Charles he is just <laughs> a really unpopular guy Charles is just not liked by by enough people to, to to keep the crown um so i i think that's kind of what i'm gonna have to do i'm gonna have to abdicate the throne at this point too many people hate me uh but uh i think charles what he really should do is just try really hard to fix it right he shouldn't just give up he should try really hard to fix it and we can start by maybe spending some time with the bishop seeing if that works it's going to improve the relationship by just spending time talking with this guy and just say, hey, man, uh, can we talk about things? And so we're going to try that. Uh, I need Glance. I'm going to have Glance do this because apparently the king is too busy today to, to do that. So I'm going to have Glance go over and do that. It looks like there's just too, there's just too many things to do. There's too many things around this area that need done. And it's... Uh, I don't have a workshop. I don't have paper. 
I, I, I don't have the chancellery, right? There's just, um, there's a lot of stuff that's just missing to be able to properly manage this many items, this many buildings. Um, and so probably what I should do is take, uh, and have one set of builders only. If I do one set of builders, that means I don't need to give these guys command anymore. If I do like these guys and take them off of building, we don't have to do the, give them commands anymore. Right. But that creates seven unemployed. So I'll need to, you know, have them working other places is better to fully upgrade buildings than it is to create new ones. Right. Uh, but in order to fully upgrade buildings, you have to have the resources to do so. I think maybe we'll have the builders do this one. We'll bring this mill to level five with the builders we do have. Let's just do this, I guess. We'll give builders here. Um, we'll bring this to level five. And if we can build this up, it just means I can staff more people at buildings that I already have a lot of. As far as the lumberjacks go, do I need to have this many lumberjack mill, lumber mills? Uh, get the warehouse over here. This field can probably go. It doesn't have any instructions anyway. See, there's just a lot of disorder. Uh, through this, but glance is finally doing his thing. Okay. We're going to do, we're going to do it this way. Glance is also going to manage this building. All right, good. So first he's going to do this. Now, when you give instructions to the scaffold, these are the guys that are working that it's their job to go out and interrogate witnesses and try to get to the bottom of these crimes. So we can figure out who the criminals are when they do that. I can either choose for them to wear the mask of shame, which is what I'm going to have them do right now. Uh, but there's a variety of different tasks, I, uh, things I could do. I can execute, I can execute them. Oh, the faction moon round, moon round has become our enemy, man. Charles is screwing everything up. <laughs> I mean, holy shit, screwing everything up. Uh, so now I've got actual enemies. That's the, that's the Maka, Maka and the, the moon realm is, is the Caden. So like these. These guys, that makes sense. They have a high concentration of Caden population, so that makes sense. Um, yeah, so the scaffolding, we are, have told these guys to go out and find the find the, the Vagabonds, right? And we can execute them, which is bad because some of the Vagabonds that don't get the execution might now become cutthroats, you know, like right away just by seeing the executions. Um, Mask of Shame is great, I think, because... Vagabonds being punished, they're going to return to being a regular peasant after the punishment expires. And I like that. That's what we need them to do. They need to be, wear the mask of shame. You did something wrong. Uh, and, and, and when your punishment's done, you go back to being a peasant instead of a vagabond. The character wears the mask of shame for a day and another character in a bad mood can freely beat them with no punishment. If you're wearing the mask of shame, you can be beaten with no punishment. So, uh, there's a little bit of a, that's a, that's a good punishment. I like that. I think that's a good way to do it. Uh, let's take the worker out of there and we'll put you instead in here. So we'll just have five people in this mill instead of that one mill extra working right there. So that's a lot of people working there. Okay, so Glance just moved up to management level eight, which is pretty phenomenal. Um, you can see all the guys with masks, right? These are the guys that work at the scaffolds and they're all going to all these different witnesses gathering statements trying to figure out what happened and who's responsible and you know all that kind of stuff and if we find somebody then we dish out that punishment and so now we're finally going to get to the point where we can begin i think anyway begin to get rid of the vagabonds and not have to worry about them destroying me or trying to kill charles all the time although if he does die from an assassination attempt it may not be such a, such a bad idea anymore <laughs> now charles's son ronan he feels abandoned by his parents because Charles doesn't spend any time with him. Uh, and uh, neither has Alina, apparently. So uh, I'm going to have you spend some time with mom. You can spend some time with mom and then you won't be uh, neglected by your parents anymore. So we're going to go in. They're abandoned by parents. That should go away as soon as your, you and your mom get together here. Should that, that status should go away and you should be in a better mood after that. All right, so Tefnira, the guest has arrived at the settlement. They're probably coming in from this side. No? Uh, 
I don't see a guest, but okay. And we have a matriarch, new prophecy, yellow fanatics. One of the strange sects that believe consuming nectar brings them closer to Holy Sophia will decide to move to your city after being expelled from their previous location. For five days, an additional three to seven nectar dependent fanatics will arrive in your city daily. Moreover, all of them belong to the culture Varns. Okay. Well, at least they belong to the Varns, right? At least we can get to the bottom of that. And we have, of course, proper law enforcement now. And I think that's going to, I hope anyway, that that helps us uh, survive whatever those crazy nectar dependent Varns can do to us. I do hope anyway. All right. So the work day is done. Everyone can go party now, I think. Some of the conversations, though, this this is taking a long time. Intimidating, I guess. Yeah, they're they're giving testimony. They're just intimidating them. Yeah, like, like they've been talking for a very long time. I'm not entirely sure how to feel about this. The desire has been fulfilled. I mean, Glance is just all around the better guy, right? Look at that. Loyalty 100, mood 100. He loves his wife, right? He's got some moderate fatigue. That's just because he doesn't sleep. Eight management now. His kid is better than mine. He is zero years old. He's already a four management skill. Uh, Charles is a six as a full grown man. <laughs> so, I mean, you're only a little bit better than the infant. <laughs> All right, there you go. <laughs> Pretty much. So I noticed something about these guys. Right, they've been intimidating these guys for a very long time. It's nighttime now. Still intimidating the same three people. Uh, so these are, you know, the guys who have been committing crimes. And uh, one of them is wounded. Thilda's been here. Uh, she's she's a vagabond. She's a cutthroat. And um, she's been getting intimidated all day by this guy in the street. And uh, you can see if you, if you hover over top of this. She has an infected wound. And not only that, but she's going to have gangrene right now. Yep. So she just got her wound inflamed because she doesn't have any medicinal salve. Leading to tissue necrosis and blood infection due to lack of timely treatment. She will die in 24 hours. She may also be talking to this guy in 24 hours. So, uh, that's another way to get rid of the cutthroats. They j you just talk at them until their wounds become gangrenous. Perfect. Great. This person here also, same thing, turned to a life of crime. And, uh, we can, we can see all my, my scaffolders, my, my scaffold, uh, workers here doing that. Forest bandits in my land again. And they have set up shop in my lands. Yep. Just outside my lands over here and in my lands over here. So... Relation to my neighbor is negative seven. Seven bandits with combat skill five and without weapons will join your army if I want to hire if I want to hire them. But they don't have weapons, is what it says. They don't have weapons. So uh, if I wanted to destroy them right now, there are seven bandits. This could be a great opportunity, at least it would have been, for Charles to go out there and show them what he's made of. But unfortunately, we just have a really terrible king who is a coward so we're gonna have glance do it glance is gonna do it he's gonna prove his might in battle with his army all these guys yep we're gonna give the army all the weapons and i might even give a couple of them some bows i have a couple of bows here so i'm gonna give them some bows as well uh nine out of eight we don't need that many let's uh pull back on one of those there we go eight out of eight we don't have any shields we don't have any armor but because we've got bows, I actually feel better about the bows. Let's do that. Because we've got bows and we've got maces, we should be able to take them guys down. And there's it says 350 gold worth of stuff there. This would be a great time for Glance to show the world that he means like who he is, right? I think that's a great thing. So uh, we're going to do that. And I might even have... I'd say I'd say his wife should come with him because she's got a decent command skill too, a better command skill than Glance does actually. Um, but if they both die in battle, who's gonna take care of Harper or 
Hepper. <laughs> Who's going to take care of him? Exactly. Can't do that. So, uh, create. Squad's getting created. There we go. Takes a moment for everybody to gather around with all their weapons and stuff. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the world map. And we are going to visit this camp of bandits. We're going to attack them. There's seven of them. So there's a lot. But we're going to get rid of them. And on the local map right there, with Glance, the squad, victory chance is 58%, it says. I feel like it should be higher than that. But I'll tell you what. We can up the odds. Because I feel like if we definitely bring two lords, we'll definitely up the odds. So, regardless of his cowardly status... Um, hang on. I want to... Can I not add new people to this army? Apparently, I have to disband it first and then reform it. I guess that's fine. Um, and can I have more warriors? Yeah, I can have a couple of more, more, couple more people too. Unhappy peasants. Yep. So I'll have you guys come with us. All right. There you go. So Glance is going to lead an army of misfits. Big old army of misfits right here. Yep. And we're going to give all of them weapons. We got a bunch of people. No combat experience at all. We got uh, some bows. Got three of them. I feel like we should be good. Uh, but we can definitely up the odds here if the king joins us. Maybe, even maybe, he can redeem himself by joining us. So now, we've got some armor included in this as well with the king. Albeit, he... Uh, honestly, I probably should take the armor away from the king and give it to Glance. But he's got assassins after his ass. So, he, he gonna come. Alright. King's coming with us. So this is the new army. Charles is coming with us. He's not commanding the army, which is a little odd, uh, but he's coming with us. And that's going to give us, a, hopefully, a better chance of beating these guys. So if I go like this, 63%. You know what? Send the army. We're going to send a whole bunch of people out, out of the map. Uh, at least I thought we were. There they go. They're just waiting for everybody to get their stuff together. And now this whole army is leaving the map. To go out and take out those bandits. 63% chance of victory. But we are going to play it ourselves. And by playing it ourselves, uh, I think we have a bigger chance of victory than that. We are still... These guys are still getting accosted. <laughs> You're going to die in 18 hours. Mm hmm Yep. That's good. That's good. Now, obviously, we have some, uh, some new jobs and stuff. Because a lot of our guys just left. They're all warriors. Um, we should have some abilities i love this mill this fully upgraded mill is awesome we should do that to this one too let's upgrade this one and then um i'm gonna build another pig farm as long as i've got rutabaga coming in and i do so i'm gonna build another pig farm too that's gonna give us a spot for one more worker but it's good enough and then builders yep we got three builders too okay that that should be a good thing for us to do today we'll have that happen and then uh I could pull some people off of Lumber Mill, but it's okay. I think to make people happier still, I might go in and alter the price of Moonshine to be even cheaper. I might say that the Moonshine, instead of three per unit, it's only two. I mean, they could technically buy Moonshine every day. If I made it two. Because they're making six per day. The flower costs four. And the Moonshine is three. Nah, I'll leave it the way it is right now. I think it's fine. If I keep lowering prices, I'm, I am going to eventually lose money. Like, I'll, I'll eventually go bankrupt. Uh, the only reason I'm making any money at all is because we're actually be able to produce beer. And people can save up to buy the beer. So, All right. Glance's army is making their way over. Now, where are you going? Oh, goodness. Right? Because we got enemies on the lands, right? So where is he going? He got 16 combat strength. I am worried. They are, they are coming towards my lands, aren't they? Uh, no, I think they're they're going here. Ah, they're taking down the bandit camp. They lost a man. That's good. Because this guy, who is not a coward, was able to lead them to victory. Yeah. Well, guess what? Glance, not a coward. We're going to see how he does in battle now, huh? So, right here is the battle. And uh, it says that these guys have a 70 morale. Wow. They have a much higher morale than we do. Uh... I feel like this is telling me that we can't win. Now, this is one of those things that I can't click because I'm scaling my UI up. 
So what I have to do is I have to go into settings and to scale my UI down to like, I think 125 would allow me to click it. So I have to make everything really small in my build. Uh, and then I can click this button. There it is. So uh, I'll click the button. I, I think my morale being lower, I don't think is going to help me. But since I'm going to do it myself, I think we'll be all right. So let's go in here. I'm going to pause really quick. Yep. And uh, if I unpause and then pause again, I, I want to I want to make my UI bigger or again, but I, I can't. It won't let me do it. It won't let me pause. <laughs> unpause. I mean, all right. So anyway, uh, forward march, everybody. Let's have the army go. And this guy gave up immediately. He's he's already giving up. Wow. You just put down your weapon and gave up right as we walked in. That's not helpful. This guy appears to be wandering off as well. He's also fleeing. So yeah, useful. Great. Awesome. They have a ton of bows. Whoa, they have a ton of bows. I did not see that coming. Uh, let's get in there a little closer. Come on, get in there a little closer. Shoot those arrows. Get them. Get them, get them, get them. Get in there. Shoot the arrows. Glance, attack, be mighty. Oh boy, this is pretty bad, actually. <laughs> I wonder if they're actually able to shoot their own people with the arrows, though. Because they're still able to shoot the arrows from this distance, which isn't great for me, but so far they're not doing much. And our arrows are hitting over there. That's great. Come on. Charles has not run away yet. We could be very proud of him. There you go. Attack. Get him. Some of them are giving up. Come on. Ah, uh, yeah, they're giving up. Yeah, the enemy surrendered. Hooray, we were heroic. Absolutely great. Ah, uh, very good. Uh, no dead on any side. A couple have escaped, but nobody died on any side of the battle. That's wild. Uh, we got six captives. We are taking six prisoners. Relations with our neighbors have improved plus five. Attitude towards the matriarch is plus nine. Uh, and we've got some loot, but we have prisoners coming back, which is great. Let's uh, get my UI to come back because like. Obviously, you guys can't see it very well. There we go. Okay. So that's amazing. That's going to be great. And uh, again, this, these guys are coming back with prisoners and 175 golden loot and better reputations all around. Everyone's going to like me a little bit more. So with Glance in the lead, the coward didn't flee. <laughs> uh, I think because these guys sometimes go off in battle, why don't we have... They just have too many things to manage, man. And we're not we're not actually finding the vagabonds right now still getting accosted but uh okay tell you what let's go is anybody reading so rizzi is reading right now i'm gonna have her at least go manage at least manage this building at least go go do the scaffold if you can please there we go hepper is gaining additional skills this is the future king right i mean he has to be the future king He's got to be. Look at this guy. <laughs> it's going to happen, man. I should probably grant him his lord status and just do it. Sorry, Ronan, but I mean, you're not impressive. You're agnostic too, which will be terrible uh, for your relationship with the, with the church. So that'll just be a terrible thing as well. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let's see. Can you... Uh, yeah, this has to be done every day. So can you do this now too? I realize we just did that, but if you can do the scaffold here, then these guys can go off and, uh, again, try to do their questioning and try to find the vagabonds. That'd be a good thing to do. So everybody's returned. They're going to end up being prisoners. All of those guys are going to end up being prisoners now, which is amazing. And now we get to put them to work. Uh, we're going to need a daytime patrol now, aren't we? Yeah. So army, uh, nope, not there. Uh, it is in army this tab yeah day patrol we have them work in the in the rye fields could have them work in the rye fields we'll have them work in uh there's six of them right we'll have them work in these two rye fields i think that's probably a good idea um but i can keep track of them there pretty easy so we're gonna go like that for the day patrol yeah and then uh once the prisoners get in here we will then set it to where they work here and then I can go in at this point 
I can go into resources, rye field, and I can put in another field. And 86% uh, is pretty good because it's stacking in and allowing this one to exist at 101, which is wild. But if I do that, then I can get a 101 field over there, which is good. So we'll put on a, a, an 86 fertility field there and a 101 here, which is, again, pretty silly. So if I build this, oh yeah, definitely build the 101 first. I can put the prisoners to work in there. That'll be great. Where are my prisoners? Where are they? Did they get... You guys, have you guys returned? Yeah, they're, they're back in. So where's my prisoners at? I got to put them to work. Uh, I want them... Obviously, they need to be... This whole area needs to be managed. Everybody's going on a date today. Yeah. All right, so I just made a quick cut. And... Uh, I went through all the different work zones and I've made it to where places that are nearby each other are managed by the same people. So in this case, all of the rye fields are covered by glance. So if he does this one, he can then immediately go over and do another one. Like it's really, really close, right? That kind of thing. Um, we don't need anybody appointing. We don't need any managers for the warehouse because I'm actually going to remove them. Uh, the builders and stuff are going to remove them. And, um, you know, replace them with other workplaces and stuff. Anyway, we have, uh, these fields over here is Rotsia and Rotsia Rotsia, but we won't be worrying about that anyway. Uh, the problem with it is like, I still don't have enough Lords to actually compartmentalize these fairly. I still have to divide certain things. So Rotsia also has this building down here and this one over here too. I, I, there's nothing I can, you know, do with that. Otherwise, if I put her in, you know, maybe I can give her these two, and then all the pig farms. So at least she's on the right side. And then I can have Alina do these and, and maybe like the scaffolding and stuff. Like I could try that, but um, ultimately I just need one more Lord. And then I need the chancellery running in order to have all these things running really effectively because it does take a while to give commands. Now, you, again, you, you don't have to give commands to all of these buildings every day. They only need commands once every three days. So it's not that big of a burden if they want to do like two of them and then go do something else and then two of them go do something else, you know, cycling through like that is, is fine. But what's tending to happen here is, you know, you'll have like four buildings at, that needed at the same day and they'll only get to three of them. And so the one will have to just be not productive at all that entire day. Eventually it equals itself out, right? You end up getting what you can get and they all will adjust to their cycles because of that. Um, but it just takes a while. Now your cutthroats have been bribed. Someone from the unfriendly neighbors has bribed your cutthroats. They are prepared to do something malicious tonight. We advise strengthening the patrols around the noble houses, the hall and the library. Wow. 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 That is unfortunate that is my goodness that is something to hear i've been they've been bribed and to think we're just now getting into a good mood hmm you know i've got a little bit of money not a lot but a little bit and i got a lot more now so i'm wondering you know and i have cutthroats right there's there's 10 of them in here there he goes yep there's, there's eight of them, eight cutthroats in the, in the, in the city. So that's uh that's a bit of a problem. I can get glance to get the army together and we can just sit right here and wait for them to come in and beat their ass some more. We could do that too. Uh huh. Forest bandits in the lands again. I don't see them. I don't, I don't agree. Disagree. There's only four bandits here. We could take these ones out now, you know, just go around and taking all the bandits and taking prisoners. We could definitely do that, you know? We got this one, Burned Village. I, I could also, you know, go into my enemy's territory and burn their stuff. <laughs> Just take this so they stop getting their, uh, all the tithing. Camp of Forest Bandits right here at 10 of them. Jeez. Uh, like I want to I wanna kind of get our notoriety up here. The, the fact that there are four here is is pretty nice. 
consisting of light fighters, right? Seven bandits with skill five. It says seven, but there's only, f it says there's four here. I feel like we should get our army together again. Yeah. Lance. Charles. Well, no, I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll hire, you know, let's say this many. He can't be added to the squad. It's fine. We'll get uh, this many warriors and we'll equip them with proper weapons. And uh, this will be my army tonight to just guard with whatever these guys are planning to do that they've been bribed to do. We'll have an actual army sitting right out here ready for them to do whatever they're doing. And, uh, you know, with weapons and everything, we'll be ready to go. In addition to the guys who are... Oh, glances. <laughs> Glance actually can't move now. That's 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 wonderful. That's great. And now there's a wolf attack somewhere. Where's that wolf attack at? It's right over here. Yep. Ah, uh, Teague. Sorry about that, buddy. You gonna be able to live? I don't know if he's gonna live. All right, we gotta keep an eye on Alana. Okay, they're going after her. They're going after Alina. All right. Glance is still down. No, he's not immobile. All right, so here's what we're going to do, right? Glance, get your warriors ready. Everyone with a good combat skill. Here we go. Let's get your warriors ready. We're going to form an, form an army right here. Yep, here we go. Everyone squat up on, on Glance. Oh, this, this, this takes time to form, doesn't it? Charles the Coward coming to help his wife, hopefully. There's my pat night patrol finally showing up. And, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, Glance's army, get over here. S stop this. Stop him. Yep, just, just take him down permanently. There we go. Okay, we now have an army right here. Vagabonds infiltrated the library and stole books. You piece of shit. Charles and Nefernub have started to fight. What? Nefernub? Yeah, we definitely needed an army here. Defend your king. Uh, you can't defend your king. Well, Alina will help defend the king. We have to take... We're, we're doing this right now. Whoa! <laughs> Easy with the arrow flinging over top of houses. Jeez. Die, you th book thieves. Yeah, he's got a book on him, right? So the, 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 I hope the stuff gets returned. Are they going there? He's going back in it too. You kidding me right now? You gotta be kidding me right now. All the cutthroats are just like coming out to, to do things right now. How are we not attacking this guy? What in the hell? How are we not attacking this guy? Army. This guy. This guy right here. Why is the army... He gets he gets punished with blindness. <laughs> you get punished with blindness. You're an asshole. Mask of same. Actually, I mean, he's going he's gonna to die anyway. We're, we're, hopefully, we're going to actually attack him now. The army is swinging. The army is swinging. Okay. Come on. Come on. God, Charles is really banged up he did manage to bandage himself up between fights so he's not it's not the same problems he's had before but he has just been a constant constantly under attack this whole night warriors are armed and ready yep all right we're moving we're defending charles is just right here we're just hanging out around charles right now keeping an eye on alina ronan all these guys right because the cutthroats are not done. Although we have we have taken care, care of three vagabonds tonight. All right, I think that is going to be good enough. We're going to go ahead and disband. I think we're good enough. We made it through the night. Lance is going to fall down because he can't stand. He doesn't hasn't been able to sleep. And uh, there we go. We made it through the night. That was a lot of stuff, but uh, good to go. And if I go to the back to the knowledge, do we have the scaffold book? We should, right? I mean, we, we got him. Yeah. We have the scaffold book back in inventory. 
My, oh my, oh my, oh my. This is, uh, whew. Telling you what, man. If, if Glance could finish reading the, the Mace Stun book, we have like a three times the chance of stunning with Maces. I'd really love to get that book read. He said 77% on his, on writing that book. It would be awful nice if we could get that done, yeah? Uh, okay. Can I hire anybody else to join the military? <laughs> Anyone else want to join our warriors? Yeah, we can free prisoners and do it. Uh, which may not be such a bad idea. Because some of them have, you know, good combat skill. But they're all going to feel bad because I took them prisoner to fight for me. So it's not great. I'd rather keep them as... I would, I would rather keep them as prisoners to just work in my fields. You guys are bandits. Uh, you know, I don't feel a whole lot bad for you there. Former gangsters, right? And we, we have actual bad people, actual prisoners that can, uh, that can, uh, do that. Wait a minute. Did they steal again? Did actual Vagabonds steal things again? In the library? What do you mean? So I sold this one. I sold this one. Sold this one. Uh, never had this one to begin with. That was inspired. Sold that one. Sold that one. I don't think they stole any books. Sold the temple. Never had the lumber mill upgrade. I uh, sold uh, the hop field and beer as well. Yeah. Now we have 10 unemployed right now. But remember, in my place, in, in my kingdom here, unemployed get paid four. They get to eat every day, even if they don't have a job. Everyone gets to eat. But I obviously want everyone working too. So we need to get people to work as well. With all this rutabaga, or with all this rye, we should be able to process it into a lot of food, right? So I think we get the builders to upgrade, upgrade that mill so we can get more people working in it. Um, and I want to upgrade this mill too. I can't do both. I don't have enough iron to do both. Since I can't do both, um, we'll cancel that one and we'll go ahead and do this one instead. Get this one to be maxed out instead. It's two maxed out mills. That's going to be better. Oh, Ronan has a friend. Is it... Is it Hepper? He doesn't have the has a friend trait. Let's take a look. Who's his friend? Uh, filter friends. Here it is. Uh, it is. It's Hepper. And, and his mom. But, I mean, that doesn't count. So it's nice that they're friends. Because I'm, I'm thinking about giving him... <laughs> thinking about... It makes no sense to give Hepper the, the Lord status. Like from a from a lore perspective, it makes no sense because he's not the king's son. The king's son should have the lord status, right? But uh, I mean, God, he's so much better than my son. <laughs> he's just he just got the he's just the better kid, you know. I don't know. He's gonna be he's gonna be the way it is. So there's, a, there's supposed to be a patrol here for the the prisoners in the fields. And we have prisoners working in this field. I want to get prisoners working in this field too. We're gonna go prisoners here and we're gonna have all the prisoners working in these fields so these guys should hop out of here real quick and go work here um yeah i definitely want to keep cranking on upgrading our mills oh my god what the hell just happened first off hepper gained new levels and everything now so that's crazy um also there's a conflict between neighbors ignoring to my respected neighbor it matters not whether it was indecision or cowardice that guided you. To me, it is all the same. I asked for your support in this conflict, and now I know what kind of person I'm dealing with. You've permanently lost my trust. Okay. Uh, okay, sure. Um, you're... Maka. Why do I care? Hmm... Bogomil considers your army to be very weak and suggests that you contribute to the region's security by providing funds. If you fail to do so, your relationship will deteriorate in seven days. Hmm. 
polite demand for tribute times two. These guys are demanding tribute. Weird. I mean, just because you asked for my help before... That was a long time ago, and you're not even my culture, and I wasn't your friend. It was the very beginning of the game. You know, so, you know, medieval politics is tough, you know? Medieval politics is just a tough situation to be in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I got two maxed out mills, which should be producing a lot of, of flour for us, right? Should be. Uh, I mean, these, they, they should be like 60 a piece, right? So as long as we've got the rye coming, and we should, because Glance is over there giving all the commands for it. So I want to get just prisoners working here if I can. I'm trying to get these guys to leave. There we go. And then back to prisoners now. We should see the prisoners go to work instead. That's what I was hoping to see anyway. Um, I want to get more soldiers i want to get them trained better because they're they're you know they're working on training there i don't have any caravans coming so i'm not able to buy anything for a long long time and i believe that notice just told us that we have run out of medical salve so we don't have any more medicinal salve so to create it well we need to research to create it um, because I don't have the ability to do that. I don't have the alchemist lab yet. That's something that Rosia has been trying to study for a very long time. She's only at 22% on. And they're so busy managing all these buildings, they're not able to read the books. So, I would hire a lord, but they don't stop in anymore. It's been a week since I've seen the caravan. Like it's It's been a very long time since the caravan showed up. I think day 10 was the last day. So it's, it's day 18 right now? I'm not sure. But it is what it is. I still have eight unemployed. I'm paying them to do nothing. It feels bad. And I'd love to, you know, pay them to, I don't know, maybe come in here. But the good news is I think we've almost solved our crime problem, right? We've only got three cutthroats left. And we deal with them every night to the point where they just die. So with the Vagabonds going away, everyone else can be happier. They're not getting robbed. And we can have just an overall safer streets. And with a payment for unemployment, they're less like people are less likely to become Vagabonds as well. When they don't have jobs. And now Charles is unable to move again. Looks like the prisoners keep working. Hey, I like that. Everybody else clocks out, but the prisoners keep working. That's cool. Is there a is there a readout that tells me that they work longer? Prisoners unhappy and still desires freedom. Uh, they probably all desire freedom. Uh, thirst for freedom. Yep. One day I will stop being a prisoner. Uh huh. Defeat in battle. This goes away in ninety hours. As long as we've got our people over here, yep, just hanging out, ready to stop them from running away. That's what the daytime patrol is for. And uh, they'll just keep working in these fields. I like it. Cool. I love how they're working even after everyone else has stopped. Makes me happy. Finally, he's here. Why is it every time I complain about these guys not showing up, they show up immediately after I complain? <laughs> like that happens so often now. Uh, Charles, get in here and make a trade, sir. Wherever the hell you are, get in here and make a trade. Okay. Knowing that they're not going to be back for a long time. And also that I don't have a whole lot of cash. I need to, I need to make this happen. We actually have a plus 96 on the flower. So we're, 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 we're doing great there. Um, as for the books... I don't have any books in here that I immediately want. I want the paper workshop. It's not there. Uh, I can learn about the workshop, but I don't have the paper workshop. I can learn about the chancellery, but I can't use it without paper. So I, I might have to just buy the paper. And that's, it's expensive. It's 20 gold each paper. 
Imagine spending 20 gold. You only have 300 in your entire budget. Imagine spending 20 gold for each command that you give. Like, each one. So, like, I'm King Charles. I want to use the Chancellery to manage 10 buildings, but I only want to occupy my time for one. So I'm going to give the command to the Chancellery, and then they'll take care of the rest. That's 10 paper. 200 gold. Yeah. Nope. Nope. I got to make my own paper, man. Just how that goes. So he's here. I got to take advantage of him somehow. Like, what can I, what can I do for him here? Um, extra rye. I have eight paper only. I've got six bows. That's come in handy so far. I got a bunch of, uh, beer. I could sell the flavorful ale. Um, if I improve my relationship with the matriarch to 25, so the Holy Caravan will start selling me this product, but I can also sell it to them right now. I have, a, I have five of them. That's cool. Mm. There's nothing I want to sell. I don't have much that I want to sell. I, I want to buy, but I don't have the money. Also noticing this, anyone else noticing this tax on warriors, 237 gold tax. That's wild. The Holy Family allows you to have your own army, but in return requires payment of a tax, the amount of which depends on the total combat skill of your warriors. These funds will go towards ensuring the security of trade routes. And in case you're wondering, hey, couldn't you just have your war have your warriors go do your thing and then maybe make them not warriors before the caravan shows up? N not how it works. The tax amount is calculated daily and accumulates until the arrival of the caravan. So you can't just like have no warriors right when the caravan shows up and pay no taxes. You're you're hit it's hitting you every single day you have the warriors. So you'd have to get rid of the warriors, then bring them back, expensive. Bring, get rid of them, bring them back, get rid of them, bring them back, and you can't do that, especially with mercenaries. Uh that would get incredibly expensive. So having your own in army, having your own army in, in your own place is you know, the, the better way to do it to protect your, to protect, your, protect your people. But, um, 237 gold is insane. Yeah. The church charges $3, three gold per unit of combat skill. Total amount to be paid at 87. And that's 87 per day. Can't be per day, but it's 237 is what they say for the taxes right now. So maybe it is. Let's sell the hops. It's seven. And I've got 197 of it. So we can give you hops and that'll cover the tax. That's how I'm going to cover the tax. Uh, we'll do this. Now we've saturated the market. So bring it back. There we go. And again, no books. I, I've got, I can't read the books I already have. So no books right now. Um, yeah, no, I don't think I can afford the weapons either. I, I need the money. So I'll, I'll sell you some hops, uh, just a reduced price on those last 10 units, but fine. And then rye, I'm going to make flour out of it. So no, thanks. Uh, we can sell a little bit of wood. We can go about like that with it. It's fine. 60 wood. It's 357. I want rings too. I need more rings. So, uh, I'm going to purchase five, six rings as well. Okay. There it is. What do I need rings for? Well, if I'm going to get a fifth Lord, I'm going to have to give them rings. So, uh, okay. So that is what we're at right now. That's the state of the kingdom. I don't know if we're in a better state or a worse state. I want to say we're in a better state. All right. I want to say we're in a better state because we've got two full, you know, maxed out mills. We're about to have pig farms because I need to get these up and running too. Uh, just about who's going to manage them, right? Every time I build a new building, it's who's going to manage it. Um, we probably want another temple. The church is not mad at us anymore, right? Their relationship with us is better now because we destroyed that bandit camp and because the the bishop doesn't hate me. So there's that. Um, we don't have like a whole lot of agnostic people anymore. So I guess there's that as well. Uh... I'm still a coward, so I'll be a coward forever for the rest of my life. So I'm not going to be able to really gain anybody's favor. 
I'm a cynic as well, I guess. Mm -hmm. I guess I don't care as much as well. <laughs> Even though I'm a coward, I don't care about being a coward as much. Um, so yeah, let me, let me, let me your thoughts. The future of the kingdom. What do you think would happen here? If, uh, if Charles and Glance, you know, Charles is not going to, he's not going to advocate the throne. He's not going to give Glance the throne. Uh, that's just not going to be something that Charles would ever do. Uh, request for assistance. There's another request for assistance. And it's again, it's Miss Taven. I don't care about your request for assistance. You can go screw yourself. I don't care. <laughs> but I, I am interested in joining Great Mist and, and, and joining in on this. I am interested in that because um, that offers me some protection from these guys. And, you know, we're only 25. We only get 25 days. And so... Like I'm, I'm good with it. If I can be brought into this little area here, it means that these guys aren't going to get mad and, and come after me. I'm not a neutral party anymore. I don't want to be neutral. Turns out actually though, that Dragonhorn has decided, it looks like anyway, Dragonhorn has decided, yeah, they're independent now. Oh, cause I, I didn't want to go after Lakehold. And uh, so this is good. This is really good actually. Uh, Hmm. If we can make friends with these guys, you know, might look into this. We might have our own little partnership right here. And since we're all like cultures, we could be, you know, our partnership could be allies with your partnership. That's better. I, I, I'd rather have the wings on my name than, than to, you know, be under your wing. I don't have to look at that. It's an interesting thing. We're on, you know, we're about to be on day 19. So we're running out of time with this demo. But uh, it's been fun so far. I've definitely not played very well. I, I don't think I've played this very well. But it's my first time ever hitting this game. So uh, I think if, on full release, I'll be more prepared. You know, we'll, we'll know things a little bit better ahead of time, I think. But uh, wow, fun game so far. All right, thanks, guys. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you. Bye-bye.